Isoniazid is a medication used to treat tuberculosis. In this visual mnemonic, I will teach you an easy way to remember everything you need to know about isoniazid for test day. Let's jump in. Today we're in a hotel hallway at the ice machine. Hotels always have these ice machines in their hallways for the use of their overnight guests. This woman here is getting ready to eat her takeout here at the hotel. But, of course, she needs ice for her drink. You can use this ice as the symbol for isoniazid. You know, since isoniazid starts with the word ice. When you see the drug isoniazid on test day, use this ice machine to anchor yourself to this scene. Next, let's talk about when isoniazid is used. The ice machine is located next to this pile of pool tubes. Hotels commonly have pools, and that's nice of this hotel to provide pool tubes for the guests. By the way, these tubes are our symbol for tuberculosis. Get it? Tube for tuberculosis? Isoniazid is an anti-tubercular agent, meaning it is used to treat tuberculosis, also called TB. Specifically, isoniazid inhibits the synthesis of the mycobacterial cell wall. Isoniazid is usually used in combination with other anti-tubercular drugs, like rifampin, for example. Isoniazid can be used for both active and latent TB, as well as prophylactically for people who have been exposed to TB. Got that? Moving on. To turn on the ice machine, the woman pulled this lever. Now that I'm taking a closer look, don't you think that this lever looks a lot like the shape of a liver? Here at Pixarize, this liver-shaped lever is our recurring symbol for hepatotoxicity, or liver damage. Isoniazid can cause liver damage, so as the nurse, you will want to monitor for signs of hepatotoxicity. This includes jaundice, nausea and vomiting, and dark-colored urine. You will also want to keep a close eye on the patient's liver enzymes, AST and ALT. Last but not least, avoid giving isoniazid with other hepatotoxic agents. This includes both acetaminophen and alcohol. And, of course, if the patient has existing liver damage, the order for isoniazid should be questioned. Uh-oh. The woman pulled the lever, but the ice machine stopped working. I think I know what it is. Take a look at that frayed, sparking wire. Yeah, there's no way the ice machine is going to work with a wire like that. That reminds me. We use a frayed, sparking wire as our symbol for neuropathy because nerves are kind of like wires. So a frayed wire can remind you of damaged nerves, right? Isoniazid can cause peripheral neuropathy, which often manifests as tingling in the extremities. This neuropathy is caused by a deficiency in vitamin B6, since isoniazid interferes with vitamin B6 in the body, which leads us to our final symbol. This woman grabbed some breadsticks to snack on while she filled the ice bucket. These breadsticks are here to remind you of vitamin B6. Breadsticks for B6. Sounds similar, right? Like I mentioned earlier, isoniazid interferes with vitamin B6, also called pyridoxine. So patients will often require vitamin B6 supplementation. By supplementing the vitamin B6, the patient can avoid the side effect of peripheral neuropathy. Got it? All right. That's it for isoniazid. Let's do a quick recap. Isoniazid is a medication used to treat tuberculosis. It can be used to treat both active and latent TB, as well as prophylactically for someone who has been exposed. Isoniazid is hepatotoxic. It can also cause peripheral neuropathy, but that can be prevented with vitamin B6 supplementation. Thanks for joining me in this mnemonic video. Now, let's see if I can get this ice machine working again. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this one, subscribe to our channel and check out our newest lessons. For more resources on this topic, including fact lists and interactive review images, click the image next to the more here arrow. I'll see you next time.